Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. We at Green Gridiron, we're all about the helmets. And today we're going over the 12 teams so far that have released their unbelievably cool alternate throwback, whatever you want to call it, uniforms and helmets for the 2023 season. The NFL uniform policy allows teams to wear a combination of throwback and alternate uniforms up to three times during the season. We're going to talk about the latest team uniforms, helmets, and which games we can see them in. Let's start with the Arizona Cardinals. So this is the first time the Cardinals have updated their main uniform since 2005. Here's the update. White helmet with silver chunky flake, silver powder coated face mask, a larger Cardinal logo similar to the alternate. At home, they're wearing all red, numbers outlined in silver, protect the nest stitched on the inside collar. And away, they're wearing all white, silver and red stripes on the shoulders and pants, numbers outlined in black. Bird gang on the inside collar. Alternate, all black, silver and red stripe on the shoulder and pants. Numbers featuring silver strokes. And they're using the same alternate helmet from last year. On to the Denver Broncos. This snow-capped alternate is the first time the Broncos have used a white helmet. The white shell is an homage to Colorado's snow-capped mountains. It features a throwback logo from the 60s and the team is gonna wear their orange color rush uniform with this helmet. Shooting this video on July 25th, this is all that we have about the Broncos right now, but from what we saw, like every other team, they just went extra with this photo shoot, and it's a really, really cool look. Next up is the Cleveland Browns. Now, this one damn near broke the internet. The Browns are wearing a white helmet with an orange and brown two inch stripe and a brown face mask. Their white jerseys and pants with brown numbers and orange drop shadows outlining them. And they're gonna be wearing them week two versus Steelers, week six versus the 49ers, and week 17 versus the Jets. For the Browns, that orange helmet is such a signature look. I, I don't know if it's just me. I think it's a little odd to just see the white helmet with that center stripe. I, I'm not hating on it by any means, but eh. All right, next up, the Detroit Lions. Now, they are using the hell out of everything they can with Aiden Hutchinson. This photo shoot is more of the same. They are wearing alternate gray uniforms. The new blue helmet is iodized finish gray face mask, and the logo pays tribute to the 60s. They're going to be wearing this week eight versus the Raiders and week 18 versus the Vikings. And big shout out to our very own Jay, who is a huge, huge Lions fan. I'm curious for his input. My input is, I, I, I don't love it, sorry. Indianapolis Colts. So the Indiana Knights blackout helmet and face mask. I love this. Royal blue logo outlined in white with royal and white one inch center stripe. The royal blue uniforms with white numbers outlined in black and the white stripes on the shoulders and the pants. Now, they're gonna be wearing this week seven versus the Browns. I like everything about this helmet. It's a little bit more than just a black helmet with the horseshoe on the side. For me, if you're going to make a change, this is the change to make because it's like, almost like the Colts alter ego in this. Minnesota Vikings bright purple jerseys. So these jerseys are similar to Furman and the Washington Huskies. White numbers with the yellow stitched outline and white pants. They're gonna be wearing it week one versus the Bucks. We have this little guy here. Um, they're keeping their helmet the same, but they're changing their uniform. A while back when they did the AMP series, they made the horn like enormous. I was actually hoping they were gonna do something like that, but I think that that is a great look to begin with. And with that new uniform scheme, should be pretty good. Tampa Bay Bucks, this is probably one of the most talked about ones. Again, damn near broke the internet. They're going out with this creamsicle look. Of course, we had to go and have some fun and do our very own version of it. I can't wait to see these on the field. 
the white helmet with bucko Bruce, which was seen from 76 to 96, and the creamsicle face mask is back alongside those creamsicle jerseys with red and white accents, white pants with creamsicle and red stripe. They're wearing this week six versus the Lions. What a great game to wear that new look. I think I and everybody else out there that watches the NFL is excited to see that almost as exciting as seeing the Oilers. That's right, the Tennessee Titans are bringing back the Houston Oilers jersey and helmets. Absolutely love this. Powder blue jerseys with white pants, white helmets with the red face mask, like what was worn in 1981 till 1998. Love you blue, embroidered inside the collar. For everybody my age or older, if you've been watching football for a long time, this is where it's at. Fantastic. The New England Patriots, no surprise here, Pat Patriot is back. White helmet with Pat logo and a white face mask. The red throwback uniforms. I don't love the red throwback uniforms, but I get it. And they are wearing them on an iconic matchup against the Dolphins on September 17th and versus the Chargers on December 3rd. Let's get to another one of my favorites, Seattle Seahawks. So excited to see this. It's endless for all of you collectors out there, what you can do to this. I would personally do a bright lime green mask to match the eye on this. But this is a really, really great look. Love this. The original Seahawks logo with old royal and apple green color scheme on the silver helmet. Royal blue face mask, similar to the 90s uniform. Royal blue jerseys, oversized numbers, green stripes with white strokes on the shoulders, silver pants. And this Seahawk logo will also be on the shoulder. I don't have a date or a week when they're going to be wearing this look. The New York Jets. So we're going legacy white uniform, reminiscent of the 1979 to the 1989 uniforms. White jerseys with two stripes on the shoulders, one stripe on pants, and a current helmet shell with a white face mask. They're wearing that week one versus the Bills, of course, week four versus the Chiefs, and they're going stealth black with their uniforms on week 11 versus the Dolphins. And last but not least, it's more of a maybe, and that is the Eagles. Now, as a longtime Giants fan, even I have to admit, this is cool. I, I'm really hoping that this is what they're wearing. There's a lot of speculation out there. I think that it's safe to say, as of today, July 25th, I'm gonna call it. This is what they're gonna be wearing. I'm sure they're gonna have this super iconic look on here. I'm not sure about the jerseys. I'm sure it's gonna be something ugly. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm sure it's gonna be something great. And I can only hope that they bring this back and play the New York Giants or the Dallas Cowboys and like keep it in a divisional game. Let's see, I don't know, I'm super curious. So I said a lot, I covered all this stuff, but now I wanna hear from you. What do you guys think? You know, there's a lot to be said for the NFL coming to their senses and allowing all of this fun stuff back on. It's good for collectors, it's good for viewership, it's just fun, right? So what's your favorite of the 12 teams that we covered today? Please leave comments and let us know. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you just got to let me know. Be sure to like and subscribe and all of that good stuff. It really helps us out. And if you made it to the end of this video, you're the best. Till next time. Cheers.